Well, welcome back to Life's a Wild Ride, and this is the next video on the bus conversion. So last week you saw that video, that was us getting the last of the seats out and wrapping that up. And I mentioned that we started on the floor, and uh, that's where we're at today. Um, we did take this first section out last week, um, as far as you watching this video. For me, it's 10 minutes later. This has proved to be a real pain, at least the first one, because they had so much silicone, and it was high quality silicone, it was like rubber. We'd stretch it out and it would pull the piece right back. But there are nails down through the plywood into the metal floor, screws and nails that we have to pry the plywood up out of. So it's kind of tearing as we do it. Um, I was so excited to get the seats done, figured, hey, you know, that's a big thing out of the way. I think this floor is going to prove to be a bigger challenge. Um, but if you are considering building a schoolie, then make sure you know what you're getting into. Um, we gave ourselves a long time, you know, a couple year build for this, so this is early in the stages, so we'll go fine with it. Um, but I'll be happy when we actually get to the point where we start construction and we're done with destruction. So we're going to get to back to tearing this floor out. The first thing we're going to do is remove the heaters, and we got to remove the heater channel that goes all up the side so we can take these. Uh, there should be hoses in there, and this will be able to swivel up out of the way, and we can take this next uh, sheet of plywood slash rubber flooring out and uh, we'll just slowly move our way uh, towards the front of the bus. So stay tuned, floor removal is next. As you can see, this floor is proven to be more of a challenge than the seat. We'll get it. It's just going to take us a while. So what they've done when they build these buses and they put the plywood down, they nail through the plywood into the steel flooring. So when we're trying to pull up on this, you have heads of nails on the top side of the plywood and they're not going to pull out of that steel. They're actually staying behind and you can see them here. You might not be able to see them in the video, but they're, they're all over the place here. If you're going to build a schoolie and you're going to strip it down and start from scratch, um, you know, this is what you're going to have to deal with. We're slowly getting it. I think just a couple more blows here and she'll peel up. So since I just turned the camera off a minute ago, it's been about five minutes, and but we're, we're just about there. Oh yeah, it's gonna go this time. Ah. Now granted, these last two, we're dealing with half sheets. I don't know why they did this, but we know the next sheet looks like a four footer. So we don't know what kind of challenges that's going to bring. So all I'm going to do now is cut off this uh, rubber. I'm going to hold this up. Uh, so I just got to cut it into the knife as well too. So cut this off and <coughs> move to the next piece. Right. Take this. Turn it on my toe. We're going to put the front of the bus. Get it out of our way. Start on the next one. As you can see, we're actually working on the next section of the flooring, which comes up against the wheel wells. But the first thing we got to do is get this trim off around uh, the wheel well, so then we can put the plywood off. And you can see, we got it off this side. We're not worried about saving it. We'll do something completely uh, different once we get the wheel well down. We just take the screws out, but they're so stripped and ripped, and we're just using a crowbar and prying them right up out of the wood. Just tracing hard at work. See, she's not a camera person, but she's not afraid to get dirty. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I don't like cameras. You afraid of the camera? No, I just don't like them. Why not? Because they make me look yucky. Look at you. Huh? What do you mean they make you look yucky? I don't know, they just do it. They add 10 pounds? Yep. No. Let's go ahead and get this piece cut off. 
basically uh, we're prying it up like this. The seam is, uh, you know, the plywood, and then I'm cutting off the rubber flooring, and then we'll be just throwing this away. All right, so I'm just going to give you a, a little update here of what's involved to pull this floor out. So what we had to do is pull off all of this channeling you see here, and this stuff all uh, protected the hose for the heaters. That hose ran right across the edge of the bus, up over the wheel well, uh, and all the way to the front. And you can see I uh, just passed this heater here, and I'm removing um, all of this paneling. It, you know, it had uh, vents and stuff in it to get some residual heat into the bus as well. This, um, these two heaters run from the antifreeze right from the, from the engine itself. And now I'm just pulling off the last covering that's used to protect the hoses and generate some extra heat. So all that's got to come off and out of the way. Is the last full sheet. Now we just got like a one foot section. All right, I'll get my knife, cut this one off, and we'll get it out of here. All right, I really want to wrap this floor up as far as getting the plywood out. We are down to just a about a foot, maybe a 10 inch strip here that goes across, and then I'll show you here it also goes um, over into here in this area in the course of stairs. Uh, this particular piece of plywood though does go underneath the uh, driver's seat. Um, however, I don't want to pull all that out. There's no need to. So what I'm going to do is use a sawzall and cut it. <laughs> So I'm on the last little bit here. I got it to break over here okay, so it's separated. It's pulled up over here. Now I'm just prying up this last little bit. So hopefully a few more blows and we can get this to break off where I cut it up there and get it out. that's being ripped out. So I'm just going to finish up this video here. Floor, floor demolition video complete. Uh, if you're considering a schoolie and you plan on stripping it down to the floor, keep in mind this is a lot of work. But that's the floor. Thanks for sticking around. The videos after this will be a little bit different because every piece we do now involves more than one um, aspect so I can't do like 
of seat removal video. So we got to do work on the floor, but it also requires us to do work on some of the structural beams underneath, three of them that we're going to be uh, fixing. So videos going forward will be probably just updates showing you what I'm doing, but it won't be like a um, particular process from start to finish. And we'll just keep updating you, keep showing what we're doing. If you have any questions, please ask. Um, if I get enough people, enough interest, then we'll do a Q&A um, video as well. So if you have questions, don't, uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. We're learning as we go. I've never done this. I'm a pretty handy person. My wife and I are always doing stuff. Never um, tackled on something like this. So we're learning as we go, and we want to pass all that knowledge on um, for anybody that might be interested in some of the things we're learning along the way. Anyway, thanks for swinging by. Life the wild ride, and have a great day.